Hey guys, I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about the uh, Townsend Character Structure Model developed by Dr. John Townsend. Uh, to start out, we have to understand what character is, and we define character as our capacity to meet the demands of life. I like to think of it this way. We have two columns. This column over here is my capacity, my internal ability to meet the demands of life, and it, it lands at a certain level. And this column over here, these are the demands of life, and these are always moving the up and down. It's what it, it's what is expected of us. Now, when our demands of life are here and our character is here, everything's in balance and we do okay. Life seems to run smoothly. But when life throws us a curveball and our, our uh, demands of life increase and they over overpower our capacity, all of a sudden we feel this separation. We feel overwhelmed. We feel like we don't have what it takes to meet the demands of life. What we tend to do in those circumstances is we tend to try to manage the circumstances of life. We try to eliminate the demands. We may uh, move away from uh, relationships. We may give up self-care. We may try to over control these circumstances as a way to bring them down and bring them back into balance. But the reality is no matter how hard we try to control the circumstances of life, they will be out of control. We can't escape that. So what if we, instead of focusing on controlling the circumstances of life, we turned our, our attention and our energy into dealing with the, our ca capacity, our character capacity to meet those demands? What if we could grow our capacity so that as the demands of life move up and down, we have what it takes to meet those demands? And that's what character structure is all about. It's growing our capacity to meet the demands of life. How we do that is through four building blocks that help us grow that attachment, uh, that uh, character. The first building block is attachment, and that is our ability to have need-based relationships that, that help us uh, meet our internal needs and help us regulate our emotions, and it gives us a connected sense of self. The second building block is separation, and that is our ability to maintain boundaries, to say no, to understand our likes, our interests, and really help us define our identity apart from that of others. Separation gives us a unique sense of self. The third building block is integration, and that's our ability to experience negative realities, uh, to, to accept negative experiences, failures, and losses in life while still maintaining a loved sense of self. The fourth building block is called adulthood, and that is our ability uh, to maintain a mature sense, a mature relationships with those in authority around us, uh, to have a healthy view of our own sexuality, uh, to find purpose and meaning in life, and have this mature adult sense of self. Now, to implement these, these four building blocks and to grow our character capacity, we need three other key ingredients. We need truth. We need to understand where our current character capacity is. Uh, we need to acknowledge the past events in our life that have hindered us from growing. And we need, uh, we need grace is the second one. We need to know that our past mistakes or failures don't define our future, that we have grace to move beyond those things and to continue to grow. The third ingredient we need is time. We have to realize we don't change overnight. Uh, years of life have brought us to where we're at and it's gonna take some time to, to work to new levels. We need to acknowledge that we don't change overnight. John 10, 10 reminds us, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. And to me, that sounds a lot like the painful circumstances of life that can often paralyze us or overwhelm us. But Jesus goes on in that verse and he says, I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Jesus came not only to give us salvation and eternal life with him, but he came to build our character now, to give us uh, abundant life now so that we can live it to, to the full. He came so that we can mature and find victory over the demands of life and live life to the fullest, even in a broken and sinful world.